A New Student's Guide to Millis High School. We will begin with the building itself. The first thing you should know is that there is two floors. Here is the map of the first floor. This is the main corridor. Most classrooms are along this corridor. There is another hallway that branches off from the main hallway. Here it is. These stairs lead to the second floor. The only classes taught upstairs are classes taught by Mr. Finney, Mr. D, and most Spanish classes. The rest of the second floor is the middle school. Here is a water refilling station. Here is the nurse's office. It is in between the bus platform and the library. Two very important things you will find along the beginning of the main hallway is the high school office here, and the next door down is the guidance office. On this map of the first floor, the purple X's mark the bathrooms, and the blue dot represents a water refilling station in the cafeteria. Now, let's take a look at a few things on the schedule that you may be curious about. You may ask yourself, what is this advisory period on my schedule? Well, advisory is a short period that happens once a cycle, and it's a small group of students in your grade that meet with an advisor, which is usually a teacher. In advisory, you talk about school-wide matters and announcements. The leadership in outdoor pursuits class has its annual charity cornhole huh? tournament. We're, we're starting, so well, I think it's just for okay. so it's so not so really coming for, up. for our like movie night that's Thursday night. That's what I should do. Like we're looking for a five dollar donation in order to come, and then. Um, for the so corn hole tournament for a team, it's 10 bucks a person, so 20 bucks a team. So if you have a team of two, you sign up at lunch, we'll put your name on a Google sheet, and you have to make sure that you have a study hall where you can come in and participate, or if you have gotten the okay from your teacher to have to participate, you can't just leave. Here is an example of a snack brought to advisory. You may notice another period on your schedule called flex. Flex is similar to advisory, but instead of going to one room, you can choose from many options to go to. You can go to the cafeteria to work independently, you can go to the gym to play games, or you can go to a teacher to get some extra help. Here are some examples of Flex. Uh, my name once again is Osama Say Agatour. I'm high school Asian manager for Citizens. For some background on myself, when I was all in your shoes, um, I remember you know, I'm a first-generation student, so my parents had no idea about financial aid. I knew nothing about financial aid. I did not.
said that we did move on to paper mache to do, um, and I don't know if you've done any of that before, or do you think you could come up with something like, some people are going to like add some creatures and figures and then obviously. <laughs> Here is the parking lot. Most students that drive themselves to school park in this parking lot. Here is the library. The library is a place where you can check out books, print things, or hang out. The library is also used for classes, advisory, and flex. And for a relatively small school, there are a number of club options to choose from. Here are a couple clips from some of the clubs. And all these clubs are looking for new members, so don't be shy.